as you all know, I ride a mountain bike. And you may have seen this, this video, especially for you local people, you may have seen me with trouble on the road. I'm having bad luck with tires and tubes. Why? Sorry for the traffic noise. First of all, Walmart tires can't handle speed. I ride a mountain I ride a mountain bike tire 35 miles an hour. I'm sorry. I ride a mountain bike 35 miles an hour. In Walmart, everything is made in China and they just can't handle the speed. The tubes too. You know, it's just the tubes and tires. And uh, if you got any, you know, this is not an e-beggar video. It's more of a waste not, want not. If you got any tire, you local people here in Goshen, if you got any mountain bike tires that you know setting in your garage, setting in your backyard that you know you're not going to use, you're going to eventually throw them away. Don't throw them away. Come to the library. First of all, you'll see my bike locked up. Put them on the handlebar. Walk in and let me know they're there. That way I'll go out, I'll tell the manager, and she'll let me put them in the utility room until I leave. But just don't leave them on the handlebar and not let me know because they could be stolen. Let me know. I'll walk. Just don't walk in with the tire. Let me do that. Just put them on the handlebar, walk in and let me know, hey, bring you, we bring you some tires and tubes. My size is 20, mountain bike tire size, 26 X by, 26 by 1.95, 26 by 2.2. Now, it doesn't matter if both sizes are stamped. Look good. Sometimes it's hard to see this, uh, a size stamped on the side of the tire. Look good. It doesn't, I prefer the 2.2. In other words, if you got a mountain bike tire is 1.95 only, I can still use it on my front. But uh, I prefer the 26 uh, by 2.2. Now they both can be on there. But if only one size is there, I prefer the 2.2. The reason for that, tubes are easier to find for that size. It's harder to find tubes uh, 26 by 1.95. Again, size is 26 by 1.95 to 26 by 2.2. If you got those tires set in, you know, everybody's got a cluttered garage. I went to a yard sale here last summer. Lady had her yard sale out in the yard, and I happened to ask her, "You have any mountain bike tires?" And she said, "If they're in there, if they're anywhere, I think there's one in the garage, but it's so cluttered." She said, "It'd take me 20 years to clean it out." And I could see I walked up there; it was just too cluttered to walk around. She, she, she said, "You're welcome to walk in there and look." And I figured a lot of your garages are cluttered. You know, just you haven't had time, or maybe you're lazy like me; you just haven't cleaned it out. And you know, and if you're going to use them, don't bring them to me. But if you know you're not going to use them, you're going to eventually throw them away. Don't throw them away. Bring them to me. Because I'm having a lot of t I'm having a lot of trouble with China-made tires and tubes. Now, if yours is made in China, that just still bring them to me. You know, just I'm having a lot of trouble with tires and. It would break, hear how much trouble I'm having. If I was a millionaire, it would break me up. See, I ride fast. I ride a bicycle 35 miles an hour, and they just can't handle it. i got to learn to slow down until I find a good set of tires and tubes. But again, if, if you got any around the house that you know you're not going to use, hey, a little gas ain't going to cost you much. Drive it to the library, put them on my handlebar, and walk in, walk in and let me know you got me some tires out on my bike hanging. I'd really, really appreciate that. Just don't throw them away. Bring them to me. Thanks.